Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. And it's actually a live recording. Oh, bored already. (sighs) So, basically, the idea behind this is... As I make as much noise as I can... Call the person website you wanted, but if, uh, okay. Spooker, copy and paste this code in your website. But bear me two seconds. So I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna play around a little bit with uh, what I'm doing. So just bear with me while I do this. So the idea behind this really is, first of all, only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes or watch it when you can safely close your eyes if you're watching on YouTube. And... uh, 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 uh. What is this? Uh, okay. What I'm thinking of doing, what? Yes, there is, Jason. That's a problem when I use, I've got a laptop and it's just, it doesn't have all the stuff that I'm used to having on there. Yee. Now you can't tell me that listening to me Tapping on a keyboard on a laptop is boring because it is very boring. Very, very much so. So, what I was thinking of doing, I'm going to share this. So, I need to share this on. Where do I share it? I want to share it on Facebook. Well, how do I share it? Start, start, play when a live, start, play automatically when a live starts. Okay. Likes, comments. That's what I do. Playlist enabled. Play continuously. Episode after an episode. I'm not sure what that means. Playlist enabled. Ah, okay. And the playlist after, so when this one done, it can play another one. Ah, that's quite cool. Step one, copy and paste this code in your website where you want the embedded player to appear. Step two, then copy and paste this code in your website just before the closing. Oh. No. Iframe. That's what I want. Okay, just bear with me two seconds because that's what you want to do. You want to. I need to share it with Facebook. How do I share it with Facebook? 
need to go back. I want to share it. I want to share it. I want to share it with Facebook. Okay. Join me live now. Let me bore you to sleep. To sleep up, slip up, sleep. Right, okay, so I can post that. on my Facebook page. So I'm wondering if I customize the website so that this plays, but if it's an embedded, yeah, it's an embedded code. I wonder if that's right. So if I add, add a section, which is collection image post text, video, custom HTML. So I wonder if this will work. I wonder, 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 wonder. Ah, looks like it is. It looks like it is. So let me bore you to sleep. Okay, every night, 11 p.m., 1 a.m. Yeah, UK time. How about that then? Let me boy to sleep every night live. So I need to put live, don't I? Live. Okay, I need to put it there. That's it. Broadcast. I don't know if there's anyone actually listening. No. I don't know. Hello, who is anybody watching or listening? See, what would be the good thing to do is in the future, you'd be able to just go to my website every night, 11 o'clock, and you can just listen on my website. That's kind of what I'm planning to do. Every night, uh, UK. Yeah. So if I save that, the thing is, I do have volume on there. Huh. So I can't actually hear anything. So I do wonder what's going on. But what I need to do is I need to save it, I need to go back and then move it up to the top. Move it up to the top. So I need to have it really at the top of the page because that's where, yeah, that makes sense. live broadcasts yeah oh there we go so uh, okay I'll go back to that's it right at the top live broadcast let me bore you to sleep so the question now 
Okay, so it's saved, but I suppose it's not going to play because I'm not actually on my website, am I? So if I go to my website, let's have a look. Where are you? If it's going to play for me. It should automatically play. Unless I have to play it. If it's going to play for me. Oh, yeah. It should automatically play. Yay, so it did, it just did it. So that's nice, that's nice to know. And so that's all working. So basically, all you need to do is just go to my website, jasonnewland.com. Every night, 11 o'clock to 1 a.m. UK time. So you can work out what time that is in your own uh, time. It depends where you live, of course. If you live, if you live in Birmingham, it's going to be the same time as if you live in Manchester, or if you live in Colchester, where I am. However, if you lived in New York, then it might be something like six hours behind or ahead. I'm not sure which, but yeah. So there you go. So this is um, I'm not quite pleased with this. So live broadcast. Let me bore you to sleep. So this is number eighty-eight. So I think I'm going to change the name. Change the name of it. So eighty-eight. Live broadcast, let me bore you to sleep every night, 11 to 1. Uh, so, it's a mouthful though, isn't it? That's a long old title. Jason Newland. Uh, the 2nd February 2019. Yes, it is a, it's a long old title, to be fair. But I don't know what, what else can you do. It's uh, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. UK time, every night. Let me bore, live broadcast, let me bore you to sleep. Uh, I don't know. That's all right. I know, is it all right? Does it need to be... Changed? E, I don't know. Let me just have a look, see if it's changed. If I re, rewind this, re, re start it. Yeah, it does. 88. The thing is, I suppose it's part of the reason to let you know the, the time is so that you know what time to come. Does that make sense? It seems to be sort of quite a good thing to do. So what have we got? I've got a live chat here. Sebastian, Kynikus, kind, 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 um, this next sentence is just, oh, you cannot Escape me, new land. Uh, this, I don't know, he's talking about something, but it's, it's actually a friend of mine, but he's, uh, who knows what he's, what he's talking about. So, he's, I've got one, so he's, he's also sent a little love, love heart, because he loves, loves what I do as well. It's lovely, lovely of him. And if you want to be a part of this broadcast, and if you want to 
um, yeah, just leave a message. You can leave a message. I think if you're on the website and you want to leave a message, you can click on the message. So at the moment, if you just click on the, it's underneath. Basically, you see it. It's 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 a message thing. You click on it. It will take you to the Spreaker website. And then you can leave a web. Then you can leave a message. Apparently, if if you open a speaker player in multiple t- tabs, my voice sound becomes like Darth Vader. Well, that's very nice. It's very nice. Thank you very much, Sebastian, for your um, contribution to tonight's show. You've been a very good boy. So that's uh, put him a little message. Well, that's very nice. It's like a virtual, little virtual star. You know, when you're at school, you give the little kids a little star. So well done. You've done really well. You managed to eat without chucking your food at your at your friends. Yeah, it's a good boy. Good boy. So that's going to be, I think Sebastian's going to be a regular a regular contributor to this show um, and I might uh, yeah because it's it is a let me bore you to sleep uh, show um, but I will be influenced by those of you that contribute you can also if you wish leave a message on my Twitter page and my Twitter page is Jason Newland or is it at Jason Newland or is it hashtag Jason Newland I don't know but that's my Twitter it's Jason Newland J-A-S-O-N-N-E-W-L-A-N-D so that might be a better place to um, contact me uh, I'm not sure I'm not 100% sure I'm not uh I'm not how to be that bothered to be honest um, but if you'd like to you can contact me there so it, it, yeah at Jason Newland that's it and that's my Twitter so perhaps I should post that on there oh where are we where are we where are we so I've just posted it as a as a message so we could basically um, do, you can contact me on there. I, was, I don't know, how else could you contact me if you wanted me to contribute to the show? Because it's kind of turning into a show, I suppose, now that it's um, become a live event, <laughs> event. Now that it's become a live thing, Although once it is finished, you know, when when I've recorded and I've finished talking about whatever, um, it will then be available for you to listen back as well. Um, But you'll also be able to do that on my website, jasonnewland.com. So if you're mainly interested in the Let Me Bore You to Sleep sessions including previous sessions and everything just go to my website because on the very first page there is uh, a what do they call it I've embedded it basically I've embedded the the podcast in there and within that you've got access to all 88 of the recordings so far Um, if you're ever that bored to listen to to want to listen to all 88 so that's uh, they're not all an hour long Uh, when I first started doing them they were about 30 40 minutes I've even 
even got a... Uh, now the very first one I ever did was 28 minutes and 13 seconds long. And the second one I did was 20 minutes and 35 seconds long. So it just gives you kind of an idea of the sort of time that I was putting into it when I first started. The third one was 22 minutes and 19 seconds long. The fourth one was 20, uh, 52 minutes and 23 seconds long. Um, I wonder how I can put a comments box. I wonder if I can include a comments box in the sharing it. I think that would be an option, wouldn't you? I'm sure it must be an option. Let me just have a look. Um, let me two seconds while I'm just going through the let me bore you to sleep options of how to embed uh, view episode, delete episode. Uh, I also I need to share it, don't I? So, oh, that's not the right one. That's not the right one at all. Ooh. Okay. Undo that. If I come out of there, so if I share this, Andre's pulled his bag right underneath the chair, or under desk, underneath the, the table rather. I tried to call it a desk, but it's not really. I'm gonna have uh, my Cadbury's cream egg. Mm. Mm. I want to remember this this feeling of pleasure when I'm sitting in a dentist chair I'm sharing this with Facebook. So I've already shared it on one Facebook. Um, I just stuffed the whole thing in my mouth. Sometimes surprised at how much I can fit in my mouth. Or would it be better to? Okay, well, I'll, I'll send it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. live now I'd like it to it, does it make it easier to just come to my website I don't know so you can contact me on Twitter at Jason Newland I would give, I would give you my Google Plus, um, but there's no point really learning that one. 
because that'll be gone very soon. And basically what Google Plus did was what, was it iTunes that did it with their, with the iPhone? where they basically, they put the U2's new album, I think, onto, and it kind of forced everybody to have it on their iTunes account. And they did, and the Google Plus kind of forced everybody to have Google Plus. Anyone that has a YouTube account had to sort of have a Google Plus account. Okay, where was it? Eee, ooh, eee. Right, so I'm just now gonna share on a group. I'll just let you know though, I might not turn up tomorrow. I'm very lazy. I've got a very, uh, what is the right word? Very, very weak work ethic. I don't believe in, uh, I don't like to do things sometimes. Oh, it's not working. Okay. So let me just have a look on Twitter to see whether or not anybody has commented or said anything. Because Twitter's supposed to be quite a good place. I see that when I watch or when I listen to stuff. Okay. Uh, right, no, I'm just uh So nothing, no, no one's left any messages. Oh Oh I wanted messages being left but nothing Nothing at all. That's okay. So let's have a look. Episode audio. Permanent link, direct download link. Public. Enable this option if your recording contains explicit content. It's not really, I don't, I don't really do explicit content. I can't be bothered. Episode sharing, episode info. Oh, that's weird. So, how did I share it before? Episode audio file, episode sharing. Mm, that's weird. Ah. Unless it's oh oh embed episode that's what it was wasn't it embed episode playlist enabled but also needs to have comments elements visible comments but it didn't have use photo as a background for players top part can you imagine people putting down the you know switching the off button because it's too boring it's supposed to be boring 
I don't need this. Yeah, I can have the Spreaker logo. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, ah, well. So let's see what else. Oh. So apparently I've got seven, seven messages, all by the same person. Uh, did you invite me to join you on the podcast? We could try to talk about boring things. Yes, let's try to come up with the most boring dialogue. I could read boring stuff from the internet. Yeah, well, go ahead and do that. And um, I may invite someone to come and have a chat at some point. But unfortunately, with this um, podcast, even the live streaming doesn't allow me to include people to it, if that makes any sense. So let's have a look. And I wonder if it lets me know how many people are actually watching. Chat. Did you just invite me to join? No. So if I put leave a message, no. Oh, okay, cool. I can do that while I'm actually on the thing. But now I don't know how to get out of it. Oh. Um. Okay, okay. So I got two followers. Both are live at the moment. View stats. So oh, I don't know. Looks like I've got six people listening. It's really hard to really know. So, so this is live. Oh, okay. But I've managed to get stuck could he's tap and hold a message to get more options oh I'm able to block people that's good all I want to do is go back to previous screen but it's not allowing me so I don't know <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to stop this thing there must be a way. Oh well. If it comes to it, I'll just turn the the phone off. So it should be fine. So let me just go on to Facebook and see if anyone mess left a message. If I go off of there. Go off of there. So that's my Facebook. Go off of there. So go for go to Facebook. So I've not really done much today. I spent quite a bit of the day in bed. Um so I was I was up till about five thirty this morning. I was just doing my thing, you know. And just, you know, I was working on the website. So I'm in the process of adding uh, lists of hypnotherapists on there.
So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. So Cassie Carter, she's on Facebook, feeling shocked. She says, I'm almost 29. How'd that happen? I don't know. Uh, Fiona says, what will happen in your life in February? It's a picture of her and it says, in February, you will come to a point in life when nothing shakes you anymore. You will feel extremely strong and grateful for the memories in your past. Next month, you will finally feel free to live a fantastic life. Ah. Um, so I've got a message from Sebastian. Uh, so there's nothing there, just him just chatting. So there's no messages on, on there. Let me see if anybody's left a message. No. Join me live, let me bore you to sleep. Maybe it's just the wrong time of the day. I don't know. Maybe it's... Um, it might be too late for England, but too early for America. It's hard to know, isn't it? Let me see if I can share it with a few people. Share. Share as a message. Someone has asked a question in the bipolar support group. Does anyone else pick their skin? Well, clearly not. I wouldn't pick the skin I've got, would I? I want nicer skin than this. So send. Join me live. Okay. Uh, so look. Uh, I'm just adding a few people and just ask them if they want to join me live, if they wish to do so, for a nice boring conversation. Claire Who else? Cassie Ah, oh, Yannicka Yannicka I'm just uh, sending it to people that have joined me previously in the past. Previously in the past, didn't need both those sentences really. Okay, anyway, I'm bored with that. So I've got a couple of messages back. Uh, let's have a look. Beck Buxton says, huh? And then she says, sorry, half asleep, just dozed off. Um, so yeah, it wasn't, it's not important. I'm just letting you know that I'm live in case you wanted to be live. Well, you're, you're live, aren't you? But you know what I mean. If you wanted to join me on my little adventure. So I'm just basically just talking. So I asked a question the other day about what would you like to, what would you like me to do a recording of?
uh, what would you like me to talk about? Um, you know, in these let me bore you to sleep things. So I've had a, a couple of suggestions. And uh, let me have a look at the suggestions that I got gift. And this was in my Jason Newland hypnotist page. Um, hello, Bex. Bex says she's listening now. So Bex is the star of the show. She's listening. It's, it's not really anything to... It's quite weird. I'm about to tell you that don't bother to listen because it's just going to be boring. But it's supposed to be boring because it's me just talking and boring about nothing. But yeah, that's kind of what it's really about. But uh, so I'm just going to have a look, see what I got. Another message sent to me. Oh, someone message sent me a message, and oh, I struggle with using a laptop at the same time. Uh, okay so I've got a message on my number 33 deep sleep whisper hypnosis that was uh, 30th of January 2019 not only this past podcast but the entire series in general is great I've only listened to it a couple of times but it seems to clear my jumbled thoughts and keep them cleared for the entire night However, it is ruined by your constant farting. No, she didn't say that. It's, it's ruined by the loud adverts that play at the end. So what I've done is I've corrected it. Um, all right, that message is a lot longer than I remember. Uh, so I've deleted, yeah, I deleted it. So I made sure that the the adverts are no longer there at the end of the podcasts. So I've got a couple of messages. When I said, let me know if there's anything about me that you would like me to talk about in my Let Me Bore You to Sleep sessions. I will mention you at the beginning of the session. Thanks. Kiss, kiss. And I'll just let you know the, the kisses were more of a, just a general kiss. It wasn't romantic. Just, you know, a general kiss. Because sometimes kisses can be misconstrued as something that they may not be. And I've, I've kind of... I do tend to put kisses on cards. You know, it's... Uh, sometimes I get so carried away I forget to put my own name. Just like continuously kisses, kisses, kisses. So... Um, so, so I got a couple of messages someone said uh, Paul or P Power Mode says it won't be boring anymore and I would tune in and listen to the stories and I replied I promise that it will still be boring I'm basically, in a sense, asking people for... I'm still going to be doing what I do. It's just make it a little bit... Well, not more interesting, but interactive, maybe, by having other people participate in that way. Simon Small says, Brexit. Nah scrap that 
I can tune into any UK news channel and be asleep within 45 seconds. Dash, 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 dash. Okay. So I know the dash, dash, dash is like a, a gap or a space or a, a break, a breather, you know. But I never know how long for. Sometimes it'd be good if I added brackets, like 10 seconds or just to give more of an idea. If it was like two minutes, then you know they've gone to the toilet. Uh, okay, so you have just received a random gift of £100,000 in cash and you have seven days to spend it on yourself. No charitable donations or you lose the lot. What do you buy? One hour, bore me to sleep, go. That, that's the... It wasn't an alarm. It was... Uh, it was a, a sleep. Z, 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 sleep. And... A good idea, I said. This is me replying. I thin. So I, I didn't even... I wasn't telling them that I was thin, because I'm not. I just put, I forgot the K for some reason. Um, I thin, that will be my next one. And that was commented on by Jason Newland. But then there's a brackets, a question mark in brackets for some reason. Simon Small replies to me, says, give me a shout out, dude, I'll be tuning in as a non-materialist man, I'm sure it won't be easy. No one, I'm very materialistic. I'd, uh, I could do a hundred grand. I could do it in a day. I could do it in an hour. Buy a yacht and then sink it. It's it's, it's easy. Uh, in fact, a hundred grand wouldn't even buy a yacht. I don't think. But uh, it won't be. No one purchase can exceed twenty grand. Ah, oh, so I couldn't buy a yacht. Looking forward to it. I could buy lots of little boats, all costing 20 grand each. So how many would that be? 20? So that you could buy five. Five, five boats and then just ram them into each other and destroy them. Like a, yeah, that'd be fun. Or do like a drag race with 20,000 pound cars, five of those, or maybe 10, 10,000 pound cars, and just, you know, smash them into each other. It's very aggressive, isn't it, my, <laughs> my thoughts. Personally, 10 grand, I would, or 100 grand. Ideally, if 100 grand, that would keep me going for five years. If I had 100 grand, I could sign off unemployment and I could continue doing my work online, doing this stuff, and live on 20 grand a year which will pay my rent, my food, and pay for the expenses of running the free hypnosis service stuff. It's pushing him out from underneath the table. It's annoying me. I keep putting my foot on his bag. So yeah, 20, I wouldn't want to waste a hundred thousand pound in a week. The idea of spending a hundred grand and having nothing to show for it would be awful. It would just, you know, that's why I just I'm not into uh, heavy drugs and stuff because it's just such an expensive waste of time you could spend you could have a party 
and you could spend thousands and thousands in an evening and have nothing to show for it or go into a bar and spend £10,000 on a bottle of champagne and then pour it over your bum you know it's so many different ways to waste money I prefer to to have the £20,000 a year and then just work if I had a hundred grand I'd put it in the bank but then I can't spend it in, a, in seven days if it's in the bank unless ah so it says you can choose uh, you've just received a random gift of a hundred thousand pounds in cash having seven days to spend it on myself no charitable donations or I lose a lot well I could buy gold so I could buy gold for however much it is and that would be spending on myself or I could buy myself a golden suit which costs a hundred thousand pounds made of gold admittedly I'd probably struggle to dance in it but forgetting that so I have that for myself a nice gold overcoat or maybe a gold chair like a throne or something and then once the seven days is over I could just sell the gold back and cash it cash the money put the money into a bank or not into a bank into my bank not my I don't own it but you know put it into the place where my bank account is held and just draw out 20,000 a year throughout the year so whatever that however that works out 20 grand a year is two so 100 pound a week is five grand a year 200 pound a week would be 10 grand a year 300 pound a week would be 15 grand so 400 pound a week would be 20 grand so I would literally draw out uh, I'd have my rent being paid out of my account and bills and stuff so I would draw out £200 a week in cash and then the rest of the money would go out of my account to pay for bills rent and all that stuff because the rent is £85 a week so that's yeah so and then and I'll pay then the £200 a week I draw out and I pay for food, clothes, getting my hair done, you know, all nice and sexy. Oh, I've said the word sexy, does that mean this is now an explicit recording? Oh no. So that's what I would prefer. I wouldn't want a hundred thousand pound to waste unless I need to have something to show for it. that makes sense I don't I wouldn't I could kit out my flat really nice you know get a really nice carpet get it all soundproofed get a soundproofed uh, booth in here get a big telly on the wall get a you know 
a nice chair to replace the my big black squeaky chair is starting to run out it's very worn now but it's worn because I've been sitting in it it's been very kind to me it's my it's my I wouldn't even get rid of it I could still keep it but I would replace it with another one and I'd keep this chair maybe in the bedroom or in a different place uh, for visitors or something so I'd still keep it I don't think I could ever get rid of it it's been part of my life for nearly four years three, three and a half years I've missed that little big old squeaky black chair I'd like to get a lazy boy, you know, like a proper recliner, but quieter. And just, I live quite minimalist, so I don't have a lot of stuff. I don't want a lot of stuff. I'd like more books, uh, mainly just hypnosis books. And like to quite like to get my bedroom organised in a way where I can have clothes some nice clothes in there um, I need the nice clothes as well but £100,000 I suppose you know, if you buy a, if you buy a car wouldn't know what to do with a hundred thousand. Well, I would. It would be. I couldn't. I wouldn't want to waste it. I'm not allowed to give it away. Unless you class no charitable donations, no charitable donations as being no donations to charity. But it's okay to give money away to friends and family. If that's the case, then I would give money. And if I had to get rid of it within seven days, I'd give money to my dad, my two brothers and my sister, and a couple of friends, and yeah, I could go and get, go onto Amazon and spend could easily spend probably £10,000 on books things you know that I could because some of the books I like they're kind of maybe a little bit expensive some of them I could easily spend £10,000 on books and sort of hypnosis courses online stuff um, oh what I could do what I could do is something that I'd like to do I'd like to do a masters and go to university and get a masters but I can't even afford to do the open university because it costs too much so I could pay for the open university for an open university degree with that or pay to go to university to get a degree in psychology and just pay ahead. So if it's each year is, what's it, 9,000, so I could pay, so that's nearly 30,000. And then I don't know, I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure a, a way around it. It's not a bad problem to have, is it? You've got to, you've got to waste a hundred thousand pounds in a week. I don't know. I think it would be um also because that so that's Simon Small, so that's a shout out for him. Ella Bragano says, I know I don't know if you have before, but you should talk about your taste in music or books. Well, Ella, I have. 
I did reply to that as well. I think I said, uh, I don't think I said it's actually in front of me. I actually said, hi, I may have talked about this before, but I can again. After all, there is nothing more boring than repetition. In fact, I didn't say that. I said, after all, there is nothing more boring than, than repetition. For some reason, I decided to say repetition twice. Well, not rep than twice. So I decided to repeat then twice before the word repetition, which didn't really, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So yeah, I'd, no one purchase can exceed 20,000 pounds. I'll be honest with you, Simon, I've never been in a position where I've had to worry about not having 20,000, you know, not being able to buy anything that was 20,000. You say, oh no, I'm not buying that. Just make sure it's under 20,000 before I pay for it. Yeah, it is, okay. I think these days uh, I try and buy things Try and look for about around the pound deal. They used to actually be a shop where I live, because you got we got the pound shops. You got the um, the pound shop. What's the other one? Pound Palace. No, I probably made that up. Um, you know, discount store stores like that. But there was this shop called. And I still think it's the best title. It was called Around a Pound. And for those that are not from England or don't know about the financial um, money, monetary things in England, uh, or, you know, not only England, but also you know Scotland and Wales as well. We have a thing called the pound, which is uh, pound sterling, which is the equivalent to uh, dollars. So if you're in Australia, I think you have dollars. Uh, America, US dollars, Canadian dollars. Um, in quite a few parts of Europe they've got the euro um, even Ireland uh, took on the euro but we didn't in England we didn't take that we we already had our currency we've, we've had it a while we don't really need another currency and uh but I think quite a few countries did. I don't know, did France take on the Euro or did it, did it still have francs? See, I'm not sure. Pesetas, was that Spain, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't remember. Actually, it's not that I don't remember, it's kind of, I don't care. And also, how, how can I remember something that I never knew to start with? It's just possibly I didn't know to start with. I'm not sure. Not a hundred percent sure. No. So, let me just have a look. Just see this bit, see. So, okay, buy Andre some ferret friends. For a hundred thousand pound, Bex, I could, there wouldn't be any room. Can you imagine If I bought Andre friends, like 
first of all, I've got more ferrets. No, one's enough. I couldn't handle two. It's just, it's non-stop. Sometimes he's non-stop. And I, I think he'd love to, uh, I'm thinking about getting him a, a little a little child to to be a daddy for. I don't know. I thought about it. And he might love it, but he also might eat it. So I don't know. It's hard to know what his, what his uh, reaction would be to that. But he's, he's very, Andre's very, can you hear that, the boiler? Really loud, it's like a, reminds me a little bit about the old internet, you know, back in the dial-up days the late 90s but also kind of a mixture between that and the old printers that would just take you know an hour to print out one page oh, I remember when broadband came in And you could uh, download a video instantly and watch it and stream it instantly without any buffering. Guaranteed that day when broadband was introduced, that very first day, there was a lot of people phoned in sick, didn't go to work that day. And when they did go to work the next day, they looked very tired. That's all I'm saying on that subject. Oh, itchy. So let me see. My iPhone has just frozen. And genuinely, genuinely has frozen. So I'm looking at the... It's really strange. This whole setup is... I suppose it's something to get used to, isn't it? So apparently, out of my podcast, the Let Me Bore You to Sleep podcast, I've done 87 hours and 43 minutes. That's in 88 episodes, including this one. Isn't that a weird... It's um, a lot, isn't it? It's a lot of... A lot of talking, a lot of, hmm, you know, oops, sorry Andre, I just kicked him, oh he's gone to run off, he's probably going to start scratching at the front door, being naughty as he normally is, so I'm looking at my web, so it's not saying how long I've been on here, let me just see if it's still playing. You are you, and that's dandy. That was way too loud. Do apologise. Which makes me think. So I think basically, when you start playing, even when it's live, there's the adverts at the beginning for a minute, and then you start hearing me. Hopefully it won't be, it won't start right at the beginning, otherwise that would be a bit rubbish. I'm just loving a little listen to the adverts. Oh, that might go to Sainsbury's then. Commercial ends in six seconds. Check out the range in selected stores and online. Commercial ends in six seconds. In selected stores and online. 
Okay. Ah. Isn't that weird? Okay. So it is. So my voice is a lot lower than the sound of the adverts at the beginning. There's not really a huge amount I can do about that. Um, this is the, the volume I talk. I'm not shouting. And um, there's nothing I can do about the volume of the adverts. But luckily they are at the beginning. So I've made sure that they're not at the end. So they won't disturb anybody ever again. But they are at the beginning. And the reason they're there is because, oh, what's that? Let's see if anyone. Ah. Oh well, the you can um, contact me at Jason Newland at Twitter, at Jason Newland, uh, or just follow me on there if you want. And also, my page is Jason Newland. Facebook is J I don't know what it is. I can't even bother to do it, but it's somewhere. <laughs> it's so. Some a page is somewhere on Facebook. It's very strange. The whole uh, doing it live, it distracts me. So I need to kind of stop. So Sebastian tells me that this is too boring. Tell us a pointless, boring story from your life now. So let me get this right. It's too boring. Can you please tell us a boring story? And then he, 25 minutes ago, he said, tell us the one story where you had the accident with that Roman candle. Again, that didn't happen. There's lots of boring stories, isn't there? But it's, maybe you could tell me your boring story. <laughs> Someone said to me the other day on Facebook, they said, um, if I did this story, it wouldn't be boring. But she, she'd find it interesting. I don't find anything interesting, really, about my life or what's happened during my life. It's all... I thought most stories are quite boring, just generally. It's just that's why I wanted this to be. Uh, you know, you know, you get someone and they just want to tell you about their travels. I just remember I was I had a, a date with someone years ago, and we were sitting there having lunch, and it was outside a restaurant. And we were, it was um, lovely food, I guess. And she was telling me all about our travels, telling me a story about her being, having gone traveling. And I just, I just wanted a police horse to walk past and fart or do a big poo on the pavement near us. That just as a distraction. I just didn't just didn't see the point in the stories. Andre, come on. I want to give Andre a cuddle, but he's just hiding. 
Come here, mate. I've got him. Sometimes all I want to do is give my little boy a cuddle and he just, he's not interested. He wants to bite me or he wants to, he wants his slipper, his girlfriend. You're my little boy, you know. I want to spend time with you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> you give daddy kisses. Now, please remember to do a poo on the carpet. <laughs> on the paper, rather. You know, he actually waits. Oh, I've got a new tweet. So that might mean, oh no, it's from Donald Trump. That might mean, hey, give me kisses. Give me kisses. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. You know, I take him out for walks. He'd love me to take him out now. He really would. But I'm not going outside when it's pitch black outside, no street lights. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going out there. It'd be different if he was the size of a dog because it'd be the most vicious animal of that size in the world, pretty much. It'd be more vicious than a wolf if he was the size of a dog. He was the size of a wolf, you know. He'd be, but he's not. He's little, so he's not going to help me. If uh, you know, UFOs came down or whatever. Well, I've got a tweet. Is this going to be for me? No, nope. it's from Matthew Stadlin uh, from LBC. I listen to LBC, by the way. If you don't, and you then don't, you know, it's up to you. But I, I like to, I don't know what it is. I like to listen to different people's opinions, but without having to hear it myself, without actually having to be involved, rather. I just find it interesting to hear how extreme people can be and how angry they can get sometimes at really believing what they're thinking and how it's the only way to think. I just find it quite funny. Perhaps I shouldn't, but I do. I can he help it. So let's have a look. So no one's contacted me on Twitter yet, which is okay, that's fine, that's all right, it doesn't matter, it does, it matters to me, but it doesn't matter, it's okay. So what's the chances of me getting a, some kind of sponsorship for this podcast? <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh look, Alvarez Kavalev Two. Coming in 2000, Alvarez. Oh, okay. I was watching the boxing this evening. I do like boxing, it's one of my favorite. It's the only sport I like, actually. It's the only sport. Don't watch football, rugby, I can't even. I was trying to watch it today. It was on telly. I was trying to, I'm watching it and just like, uh, just don't, just don't get it. It's it's just, just not for me. It's, I know it's popular with a lot of people. It's just, it's not my, my thing. It's, or cricket. Boxing is the only sport that I actually, and say that gets me excited but yeah it kind of is I like MMA as well uh, mixed martial arts or be 
we don't have in England we don't have we do have um, like Super Bowl like they show it on television you know the the Super Bowl and uh, there's a couple of programs dedicated to American football and um, but we don't I know in America basketball baseball and American football or football as you call it over there um, you call I know in America you call football soccer um, it's just weird there way above they're like the top aren't they like basketball baseball and uh, football American football but here football is the top or what you might call soccer and then below that I suppose rugby and below that would probably be I don't know cricket snooker possibly boxing I'm not even sure if boxing would be in the top five I don't know it's uh, possibly cricket would be in the top three never really see I, I'll talk about sports that I don't really kind of enjoy but I'll, I'll talk about it in a respectful way because we've all got things that we like it's just I don't I've never kind of really understood why um, people like cricket but then I don't care why they like it either good luck you know good luck to anybody that likes whatever they're doing really I suppose you know what I mean So I'm going to look to see if there are any more notifications. Let's have a look. So two, four. Every night, 11 to 1. Oh, the idea of doing this seems so boring. I don't think I could. I think it just... I don't think I could do this for two hours every day. That sounds like hell. <laughs> it's really... I don't think I could. I think I'm just going to have to... This might just have to be a one-off. And then maybe go back to what I was doing before. Just doing when I feel like it. It's just, oh, imagine talking two hours every day. What makes it harder is being online and watching, looking at the internet and that distraction. I'd find it a lot easier if I was sort of sitting in my chair just talking. That would be a, a better experience for me. So maybe that's perhaps what I need to do. Perhaps. Uh, or 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 I could have uh, I suppose technically I could maybe not now but in the next few weeks or so perhaps have a a stream a video stream Facebook and perhaps then invite someone to come on. I don't even know if uh, what's his name still there. Is Sebastian still there? I 
because he hasn't I think he's uh, and if he is there, I could kind of add him on, I suppose. Uh, let's have a look. Um, what's the, the thing you can talk to people on? Um, Skype, that's it, Skype. I've never tried that other one. You know, there's another thing, isn't there, you can use. Uh, and it's become, I think, more popular lately. Or well, I keep getting messages from it saying that it's the best one to use. Whether it is or not, I don't know. Start a conversation. Um, let me just see if he's if he answers. Oh, okay. In fact. Sleep. Oh, he isn't online. Oh, I thought he wanted to be part of this. If he isn't online, maybe he was asleep and I woke him up. Oh well. So I had two chats. Fourth of the first, two nineteen. He hasn't messaged. Misclavist. Okay, I can. Ah, that's weird. When I fall in love, it will be forever. Or oh, how never fall in is closing. <laughs> My comment about Google Plus closing was, I shall cry milky tears from my third eye. Oh, that's a bit, a 
bit near the knuckle. Oh. So someone said, FYI, I will be off Facebook or FB, which I'm less, I guess it's Facebook. Uh, too lazy to write Facebook for a while. I'm emotionally drained and I won't take the drama anymore. Self care is my number one priority for stop. So I wonder what's going on there. Ah. Oh, I'm just there. Look at this. Ah. Oh, it is quite dramatic. I can't read it out to you, but it's. Uh, Oh. Ah. Ah. I'm just then um, reading. Imagine if people realised that Facebook isn't real. It's just a website. Just a website, people. Just a silly website. But love it if Facebook just closed down. What would people do? What would I do? How would I share my stuff? Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine. Facebook. How would people learn to communicate if Facebook sort of disappeared? They'd have to talk to each other. I wouldn't want that. That's the one good thing about Facebook is not having to actually have a dialogue, not have a conversation, just send it. That's why I like texting, send a text. I hope you're well, bye. It's, just, it's not even, are you well, tell me. Just hope you are well. You don't really need to respond to this is the undercurrent I think with that. Bye. So it's kind of sending love, but in the same way, not needing to know any more at this point. Yeah. I have a two rule, a two text rule. I text someone, or well, if they text me, I reply. They text me again, I reply. If they text again, that to me is too many times. I won't have a conversation by text. You know, I will phone the person and get the words out verbally rather than have to type them out on a little phone. That's one of my little rules that I carry around with me. No more than three texts. Third exchange, that's it. 
over and done with. Some people like to keep it going for hours. And I'm not one of those people, really not. And I've got a friend that's still waiting for me to reply to her from about two weeks ago. Too many texts. I tell people, but they don't seem to believe me. I think I'm joking. No. And on what other ways am I amazing? Uh, I tell you what, I'm amazing because I'm going to end this recording. But I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to end it, to, to finish it. And how do I do that? That's the problem. It's got to be a way. Um, build your brand. No. Oh. So this is it, so if I just press that, 